Welcome back. We're in the company of Nigel Pearson and Scott Minto as we find our fan of the week enjoying life in the Coca-Cola Championship. Mind you, in his capacity as local radio commentator, he squeezed every moment of pleasure out of last season's playoff final at Wembley. He's going to play! Yeah! Yes! Doncaster Rovers are in the championship! Eddie Gray, Peter Latimer, the Kaiser Chiefs, Harry Grayson, your lads took one hell of a beating. We've done you, Leeds United, you're not famous anymore. Doncaster Rovers are in the championship. Hello, my name's Paul Mayfield. This is Doncaster Rovers and welcome to my big league weekend. Wake up everyone. We thought we'd start our journey down here at the old Bellevue ground. It's now in a dilapidated state. And this is the programme from our last game before we went into the conference when we thought we'd never ever see a game of professional football at Doncaster Overs again. But along then came John Ryan and it's out with the old. And it's in with the new. Welcome to Doncaster Rovers' new stadium, the Keep Moat Stadium. It's Valentine's Day, we're playing Sheffield Wednesday and this is my other love of my life, Doncaster Rovers. On match days, I also do booking for all the away travel for Doncaster Rovers supporters, and I also bring the biscuits to all the people in the press box. I'm renowned throughout the league, throughout the press, for bringing biscuits to keep everybody happy. Thanks, Nathan. Take care, thank you. Ooh. There we go. Happy Valentine's Day, anyway. Well, I don't want to break. Absolutely fantastic to see where Doncaster Rovers are at the moment, isn't it? Well, it is, it isn't. I mean, I think we could have been a lot higher because we played so well this season. And uh, I mean, look at the game uh, against uh, Wednesday at Hillsborough. We should have won that and we lost. And uh, we've lost a lot of games we should have won. So I reckon we should be in the top 10 by now. <laughs> As you can see, I've had to change uh, into a white shirt now because uh, club colours aren't allowed in the press area. Let's get into there now. Keep my hands out the cookie jar. As you can see, it's not just the biscuits the press box gets. Local pie company, Toppings Pork Pies, sponsor the press box with all the pork pies here after every match. And if there's any left, I'll take them out for the supporters at the end of the game. What I do here on match days now is just take uh, details of the goal scorers and any chances Doncaster Rovers and the opposition have, phone them into the local radio station and keep them updates with the scores and give a, a match commentary at the end of the game. Come on, Rovers! Three yeah! yards out, put the ball over the goal. Can't believe it. Poor Doncaster at the moment, we're having all the effort. minutes. Coppinger got the ball over from the right hand side and there was Paul Heffernan headed the ball into the goal. Da, da, da. Slick football, that's one of the Arsenal of the North, 1-0 to the Rovers half time. Sean, another great victory today. Well, good performance as well. Yeah. You know, we've uh, we've tried to highlight performances all season, even though when uh, results have gone against us, we think we've performed really well. So we've maintained that, which is you know we've been consistent as probably any team in the league with, with the performances that we've uh, put out and just couldn't get results. So it's nice now that the things turn around and, and we're getting results on top of the yeah. on top of the good performances. It's been a great day for Doncaster Rovers. A fantastic 1-0 victory over Sheffield Wednesday. No pork pie left. I've got to give the biscuits out to everybody. This is Paul Mayfield. It's been my big league weekend. And up the Rovers! Yes! <laughs> Good to see that 
journalism, unbiased, is alive and well in Doncaster, isn't it, really? But uh, I'm sure the press boys love him in the press box next door as well. Yeah, very professional. <laughs> but it's nice to see that passion, isn't it? Yeah. Good to see Sean O'Driscoll there as well. Uh, has he taken lessons from you about how to smile? And <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. He's, uh, he's done a great job there. He has, And, um, you know, I thought he did a very good job at uh, Bournemouth as well, so... Um, it had to be patient as well because they had a spell at the start of the season where they just could not score and I think, you know, you look at the, the they've conceded 35 I think uh, and only con uh, scored 25 so, you know, they, they've had the problems but they've put a great run together and uh, it's seen them, you know, come out I think from the bottom and, uh, but he, he'll also know that they've got to maintain that now because, you know, when you've had a, uh, a very poor run even when you put together a run of results, you like can that. very, yeah. yeah, very soon um, get sucked back and in. Of course, it's Bristol City, who are the other form team mm. in the Championship next. That's a hell of a clash, that one, isn't it? I suppose next game for them, which way that'll go. Mm. Um, but you're absolutely right. I mean, it's, uh, you've got to maintain that because you can get sucked back in, can't you, Scott? Yeah. So I mean, easily. There's some big wins there. They've beaten some of the top teams in the division, but the important ones are that where they they are. And they've got themselves out of it. I think they've been, you know, a, a top club, great stadium. I've been there this season, sort of play against Swansea, and Swansea, one of the best football sides in the division. And for that day, they out footballed Swansea. So, um, yeah, I've been very impressed, and I think it was very, impa very, it was imp very important that they were patient with Sean O'Driscoll. I think they knew what he was trying to do, and they're playing really good football. Well, what they say in Doncaster is that there's no plan B. You know, they will pass the ball all day long, uh, and if you listen to the crowd responding with the old ladies. You know, Arsenal of the North and all that, the fans are really into it, uh, which is great to see, isn't it? The, the patience from the fans and now it's paying off, Nigel. Well, South Yorkshire derby as well. Um, I, I don't know whether they've played Sheffield Wednesday before. Um, yeah, and it's the first time they've level. beaten them. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big day for them, you know, and when you look, Wednesday did the, the double over United the week before mm. and that's been not been done for 95 years. It, you know, it sh just shows you how things can turn around in, in, in football, but it's a great result for them. Sure.